what should I consider when deciding between rolling over my AT&T 401k into an IRA or leaving it in the company plan? Uh, very good question, uh, important decision. It's not obvious for everybody. Let me get rid of this disclosure here. What we found is that there's some uh, tax benefits to leaving your 401k in the company plan. And usually they have to do with retiring before 59 and a half or leaving AT&T at least before 59 and a half. Uh, you can take penalty-free withdrawals from that account as long as you left the company on or after the year you turned 55. There could be some good tax benefits to leaving the money in there. The main reason I see people rolling of their 401k is because of the limitations on investment options within that plan. So in an IRA, you're not limited to what you can invest in, or at least you're very, uh, you're, there's very few limitations on what you can invest in. So meeting your objectives from a risk tolerance perspective, as well as a values perspective, oftentimes you could do a better job of that with more options. Um, some advisory firms cannot advise you on your 401k. So a lot of people will roll their money over in an effort to start that relationship. Fortunately, our company can literally manage your 401k for you if you're just not ready to move the money from that account. But oftentimes we would prefer to have more options available. You also wanna be aware of the costs associated with rolling money over uh, hopefully not on an upfront basis, but at least on an ongoing basis that you can incur and see if the value is there uh, to meet the compensation of whoever is helping you with managing the, uh, that account. Mm -hmm.